Hello again. Uh, I thought today we'd learn a knot. So I'm going to teach you the clove hitch. It's quite a useful knot, this clove hitch. And when we get back to school, we can use it for all kinds of different things. So you need a piece of rope or string or washing line or shoelace. Whatever you can find at home that you can tie a knot in. Uh, remember if you're borrowing shoelaces to put them back or you'll get in trouble. Uh, so I've got the end of my line here and basically this knot is two loops. You put one on top of the other and that makes the knot. So I'm going to use my right hand and go under my left to make one loop. Right hand under the left to make another loop. And then this second loop here, this one, is going on top of the first one. And that's the knot. Okay, so I'm going to stretch it a little bit bigger so I can put it onto this piece of wood so you can see the pattern that it makes. So on the back, it looks like two parallel lines. And on the front, it's got a little cross over the top. Okay, so it's useful for all sorts of things. Imagine that you're making a den and you're using this as an upright for your den and you want to put a piece of tarpaulin over the top. You want to hold the tarpaulin still. So we could make this knot. We could make this knot, put it over the top of the tarpaulin and over the stick and it'll hold everything together. Okay, that's one thing we could do. If you've got a log like this and you're going out for your daily walk, you could use that knot to take your little dog for a walk. So let's turn our let's turn our log into a little dog. So we need a little nose. He needs a little mouth. And he needs two eyes. And maybe we could just draw on two little ears down the side. And then we've got a log dog. And you can use that knot to help you pull your log dog along. So that's the clove hitch. It's a really useful knot. Just remember, two loops, one on top of the other. And that's it. Well done.